Hi, my name is Steve and welcome to the Seaside Allotment Channel and today I'm planting lots of spring onions. Uh, so I thought what I'd do is I'd just talk a little bit about spring onions in winter and then I'll show you the different varieties of spring onions that I've got around the plot and the different conditions that they're growing in. And yeah, and then we'll be done. Um, uh, oh, I'll show you some winter planting uh, that I do with my spring onions as well that I really like. So yeah, spring onions in winter. Uh, I am a massive fan of spring onions. I think I can't even eat shop-bought spring onions anymore because they're just so leathery and horrible. Um, by comparison, you know, fresh spring onions from the garden are just so sweet and crisp and crunchy. Um, and especially if you get them when they're young, you know, because obviously you can afford to do that when you're growing them yourself. Now I sow my spring onions in module trays and I generally sow about nine seeds per module. And most times they don't all germinate, so I probably get six or seven, which is just the right size for a bunch. Um, and obviously, I, don't, I mean, I don't count nine seeds. I just put a pinch in um, and you know, that, uh, based on experience, that's roughly about nine, but sometimes it's seven, sometimes it's 10. Um, so, yeah, now spring onion is also very hardy, and so they can grow outside without any protection. Um, but, you know, sometimes they do get a bit battered up, and particularly if you like the tops, the greens of the spring onion, um, sometimes those aren't in great condition when you grow them outside. So I like to grow a mix of inside and outside ones, and then, you know, I'm kind of resilient against, you know, issues with the weather. And I sometimes it's just too foul weather for them to survive properly outside and then of course I've got a nice load inside as well. So I'll show you outside what I've got and uh, then we're done. Now my favourite uh, variety at this time of year is Sturon. Now Sturon is a main crop onion but you can sow it now uh, and it will actually bulb up fully uh, and you can use it as a main crop onion um, later in the year, so in, ne in next year sort of June, July time. Um, but if you plant it like this in module trays, as I said, with lots of seeds per module, it's just fantastic as spring onion. It's not very good as a spring onion if you sow it, say, in May time, because all it wants to do is bulb up. But at this time of year, it's just perfect. And so these, I'll be eating these early next year, probably. And then I'll sow some more in February time. Now what you can also do, and this is another tray of Sturon, is you can sow them at much lower density. So in this case, there's only two or three seeds in each module cell. And those you can use as an overwintering main crop onion, or early onion anyway, that you're going to leave to bulb up. And I tend to harvest these about May time. And by that time, they'll be sort of this sort of size, maybe an inch or something like that. Um, and they're just perfect when our stored onions are not such great quality. And so I've got a tray of those, and some of those have got slightly more in. Um, and what I can do with those is just thin them out down to about three. I find that three is about right if I want them to bulb up nicely. So this is the bed that I'm putting them in. I've just made the holes with a dibber and these had beetroot in yesterday, this bed, and I've just pre-watered the holes with um, water. And you know that just helps encourage the roots to go down deep. And there we go, I've just started to pop some in. And I'm not planting every one of these holes because alternate holes are gonna be lettuce. Anyway, I'll get on with this and I'll show you so where actually I'm Maybe I should just show you a plug and this is basically how I tell that they're ready to plant when the plug holds together when I remove it from the module tray. If it all starts falling to pieces then uh, I'll leave them another week or so. Now a few of them will probably fall to pieces even in this tray but that doesn't matter. Um, just as long as it holds together like that this sort of size is about right especially when you're planting them under cover. So that's the spring onions in. And now it's time for the lettuces. And I think I'm going to put winter density in here. 
So there's the tray, they look very nice. Winter density isn't actually my favourite uh, overwintering lettuce, but it's actually pretty nice and crunchy and that's why I like it. So it's worth popping a few in, uh, just, you know, because getting crunchy salads in the heart of winter is actually quite difficult. So there we go, that's all planted up now. And one of the things I generally do is I only water the plug uh, using my little watering can um, for the first week or so and again that just helps them settles them in nicely but it, it main thing is it helps them establish deeper roots if you water the whole of the bed then the roots sort of spread out into the surface and of course you don't really want that you know want the roots to go as deep as possible so I'll just show you uh, a bed that was planted about a month ago uh, similar to this one so there we go and that has been in this little uh, hoop tunnel and it just gives everything that little bit of extra protection it's always on its vented setting so it's always at least that open um, so that's about three inches open um, and sometimes more sometimes open like this to enjoy the sunshine and you can see the spring onions coming on beautifully and they're actually not far away from harvest but that's the beauty of growing at this time of year so these spring onions will stand for much longer um, at this size and maybe a little bit bigger um, so you could probably still be eating these at Christmas time and they would be just as good as they are now and that is brilliant because that just isn't the case when you're growing in summer um, so yeah they're lovely and these lettuces are freckles and down the other end we've got Roxy so here is another example where the spring onions are just around the outside and don't worry that they're all bent over that doesn't bother them at all uh, these are all ready for harvesting now but again these will stand for a month or so in fact this is our spring onion bed for the next month and this is interplanted with a bed of Grenoble red but spring onions they don't need to be under cover here's an example of a bed with them growing outside perfectly happily but much much slower so these are white Lisbon and these have been in the ground quite a bit longer than the ones that I just showed you interplanted with the lettuces and you can see that they're probably three or four weeks behind um, so yeah much much slower but still coming on beautifully and these will be uh, lovely in the new year probably when they get eaten and these are interplanted or just planted around the periphery of these field beans so i hope you like that quick video and i hope it encourages you to grow spring onions in winter fantastic see you soon